Well, another image that was developed in 1974 by historian Arno Peters is this Peters map. This was, of course, a map that was developed with one specific purpose in mind, which was to create a map that was fair to all people. Peters was doing a history of the world, and he was concerned that the Mercator projection didn't allow him to portray the world civilizations over the last 5,000 years because it emphasized the European-centered or northern hemisphere-centered civilizations. The Mercator projection compresses the region around the tropics. Most Mercator maps today crop the bottom of the map, removing Antarctica, resulting in the northern half of the Earth taking up two-thirds of the map area. The south then becomes diminished in size and importance when compared to the north. And so Peters set out to create a map that showed the countries in true size and true proportion. And this is his map. It's kind of funny because you've got severe elongation between 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south, and you've got severe compression between 45 degrees north and the North Pole, and between 45 degrees south and the South Pole. So every map to show something true also has to lie. Every map that wants to show something accurately has got to sacrifice another area because in order to portray this round circle, let's say we were to take an X-Acto knife and cut this all up and try to lay it down on the floor, just the same problem as the orange or the clementine is that it becomes impossible to do that unless we're sacrificing something. If you want to show lines of constant compass bearing like on a Mercator, you can't have sizes. If you want to show sizes, you lose shape. If you want to have it be distance accurate, which will be another map that we'll see next, then you're going to lose both size and shape.